For today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the star stitch. I'm going to be using Deramore Studio Anti-Pilling DK Yarn in the shade Dusky Lilac. You will need a darning needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors to snip off the ends and a crochet hook. Today I'm going to use a 4mm crochet hook. The star stitch is a really pretty stitch. It's made up with a two row pattern repeat. It's a really pretty pattern and it's actually really easy to do. Looks more difficult than it is. Okay, let's get started. So to begin, we need to chain in multiples of two. So to begin, we need to make a slip knot and chain in multiples of two. And I've made 20. Okay, so for the star stitch, our aim is to have six loops here on the hook. So we've got here our first chain from the hook. We're going to work into the second chain from the hook and we're going to insert our hook into that second chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Remember we want six loops, so we're going to go into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, and into the next, yarn over and pull up a loop, and again. So now we have five loops and we want one more, so go into the next chain along, yarn over and pull up a loop. So here we have our six loops, we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. Okay, now you can see, as I did that, the work instantly popped up. So this will be the side of the work and then this will become the bottom. So to finish off that part of the star, we're going to chain one and that forms the eye of the star. Now for the next bit I'm going to show you some of the names of the parts of the stitches so you know what I'm talking about. This little hole that we've just made here with the chain one, that's called the eye of the star. These lines here, these are called the legs of the stitch and we're going to need that last one just there, the last leg. This hole here, this is the space that we worked the last stitch in and then we've got the chains. Okay, so now you should know what I'm talking about when I say where we're going to put the hook. And remember, we want six loops on the crochet hook at the end. So we're going to insert the hook into the eye of the star, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to go under the last leg, insert your crochet hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now into the space of the last stitch, where we made the last stitch, there we go, we go into there and pull up a loop, and now into the next two chains. So we go into the next chain, pull up a loop, and then into the next one along and pull up a loop. And again we have six loops on our crochet hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all six. Chain one to form the next eye. And there you can see we've got two stars forming now. And now we're ready to go on again. So this one was slightly different because we only had chains to work into. This one is how we're going to work the rest for the row. Okay, so we'll do that again. We're gonna go into the eye, the leg, the last space that we went into with the last part of the stitch, and then two chains. So we insert our hook into the eye yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the last leg, yarn over and pull up a loop, go into the space where the last stitch was made, yarn over and pull up a loop, and into the next two chains along. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Again we have six loops on our hook, so we will yarn over and pull through all six. To finish that star, chain one to form the eye. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So we insert into the eye, 
under the last leg into the last space there that the last stitch was made into the next two chains and there we should have six loops on our hook we need to yarn over and chain one okay I'm going to work along the row and I'll meet you when I get to the end okay I've got to the end of my row and I'm just going to make the last star stitch so remember we go into the eye pull up a loop the last leg pull up a loop the last stitch pull up a loop and then the next two chains you should have two chains left go into those two chains pulling up a loop yarn over pull through all six yarn over to form the eye and then right at the end where we just made that last so into that last chain is the last part of that star stitch we're going to work a half treble crochet okay this is in UK terms in US terms that is a half double crochet so to do that we need to yarn over insert your hook into that last chain where we've just worked into yarn over and pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three there you go that's the end of row one so for row two what we need to do is chain one and turn your work now this row is a lot easier to remember what we're going to do is the only space we're going to work into are the eyes so you can see them all the way along if I hold it there you should be able to see through it's the largest part that you can see through it's the eyes so if I turn it back the right way you remember where they were and then turn it back this way okay so the first stitch we're going to go into that eye and we're just going to work two double crochets okay this is in UK terms in US terms that's a single crochet we're going to work two into there so that is insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both that's one double crochet made we need to make two so we're going to insert your hook into the same eye pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both we're going to do that all the way across work two double crochets into each eye of the star so insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both and another one because we need two insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two we're going to do that all the way across two double crochets into each eye of the star I'm going to carry on to the end of the row and I'll meet you when I get here you can pause the video if you like okay I have nearly completed row two I've just worked my last two double crochets into that last eye there and we need to work one more stitch one more double crochet now here it looks like there's two stitches this here is actually one of the legs of the star stitch and here we have the chains so we're going to work into the last chain okay we're going to work a double crochet so we need to insert our hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both there you go that is row two complete we are now going to do bottom part of the star again so we're going to do row three and this is where the pattern repeat starts so we need to chain three and turn our work this one's ever so slightly different to the bottom we're still going to make our star which you can see here we've now done two rows so you can see what the stars look like this first one working into the foundation chain was slightly different to this one here this is what we're now going to repeat throughout the whole pattern so we have three chains just there we are going to work into the second chain from the hook and remember our aim is always to have six loops on your hook 
So we are going to go into the second chain from the hook. Doesn't matter if you pick up two or one of the loops. I just pick up one because it's quicker. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now go into the third chain from your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you can go into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into that next stitch along, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then into the next stitch along, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we have our six loops on our crochet hook. And again, we just yarn over and pull through all six. And that pulls that up, chain one to form the eye. Now from here it's exactly the same. We go into the eye, the leg, the last stitch and the next two stitches. So down here we went into the next two chains, here we're going into the next two stitches. Okay, so I will show you, we are going to go into the eye, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, into that last leg, just there, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, into the last stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then into the next two stitches. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then into the next stitch pull up a loop and there is our six loops yarn over pull through all six do a chain one to form the eye okay I'm going to work along to the end of the row and I'll meet you when I get to the end okay I've nearly completed my row three and I'm just going to show you how to create the last star so again we go into the eye and pull up a loop into the last leg, pull up a loop, into the last stitch, and then the next two. Okay, now this is one stitch and this is another. So that might look like a stitch there, that's actually the turning chain. Okay, can you see that? So there's one stitch, two stitch. That is the chain, we don't want to go into that. Okay, so we have four loops, we're going to go into the next stitch along and then into that last stitch, just there. Yarn over and pull up a loop, chain one to form the eye, and now again we're going to work a half treble crochet in that last stitch just there. So we need to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, now we are going to repeat row two, which is the double crochet row working into the eyes. So again, we chain one and turn our work. This one, we're just gonna work two double crochets into each eye. So we've already chained our one. You need two double crochets in that eye there, two in the next eye, all the way along. Okay, I'm gonna work along to the end. You can pause the video if you like and I'll meet you when I get here. Okay, I've nearly completed row four, which is the double crochet row. And remember the last stitch is just gonna go into the top of that turning chain there, one double crochet. So we're going to insert the hook under both loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. Okay, and that's all you need to do for the rest of the pattern is to repeat row three and four all the way through. So remember to start your row three, you're going to chain three and work down the chain and then along the work there into those stitches. I'll just show you my larger swatch so you can see a few more rows worked. It's a really pretty dainty little stitch that works for loads of projects. There you go, that's the star stitch.